back down the river. The weather's a lot better today, actually. That was horrendous on Saturday. It really was. That tree was a bit precarious. Getting through there. Right, the purpose of this is to go upstream, and I'm going to try and find somewhere to camp. So I don't know how far I'm going to get, or if I'm going to get lucky, but if anything, it's a day out on the water, and it so ain't the end of the world if I don't. It's very peaceful on this bit of river. And so much wildlife to see. And speaking of wildlife, those swans are back on their nest. Let's see if we can get past, shall we? Yeah, those swans were no bother. I was a bit worried on Saturday. Um, there was only the two of them that I saw. I didn't see the third. Looks like they've still got a signet. Pretty mature signet, but... Um, yeah, I'm always a bit wary around swans, you know. They're, um, they can be temperamental at times. But no, it's so peaceful on this stretch of river. It really is. And I have just spotted something. I'm wondering... It's going to be hard getting out without pushing the kayak. I'd need to lash it if I was on my own. I'd need to tie it up to the roots so that the boat didn't kick off when I stepped off. But um, I looked on the Ordnance Survey map and all of this along the river right the way up to the Forestry Commission offices is highlighted in that orangey line which denotes it as public access. So places like this might be a uh, bit of a winner. We'll have to explore it sometime. And it's not too far from where the car is either. Well, I'm not wearing these <laughs> to make a fashion statement. These are my cheap cycling glasses. I've only got them on because there's so many flies, uh, mosquitoes, midgy type things floating around the water. There's swarms of them. It's just to stop them going in my eye. So uh, I'm definitely not making a fashion statement. <laughs> just come upon this little jetty. Sandy little thing, isn't it? Again, I've got nothing to tie up with. If I had a bit of rope with me, I could have moored up properly on here and uh, had a little gander, but I didn't come prepared. It is such a peaceful stretch of river, and it all opens up when you go upstream. This is upstream heading towards Fetford. Downstream is heading towards Brandon. But it's a lot more open, as you can see. Um, but I've never really been much further than up past that bend. There's a little bank where I had a cup of tea the other year, and... I mean, my slider got twisted. Yeah, a little bit further up than that. Last time I tried going up, it was too weedy and I couldn't get through. So I'm going to press on and I'm going to try and see how far I can get. And uh, hopefully I'll find another spot that we could uh, investigate. I've said this before, but... It's worth saying, if you're, if you're starting out doing a bit of paddling, just a bit of light kayaking like I am in an inflatable, go upstream first. Always investigate upstream first. Go as far as you can. Put in all the hard work, because that last stretch to where I'm currently sat, my arm's killing me. <laughs> I'm no spring chicken. So, uh, yeah, just get all the hard work done, whatever you do in life. Get the hard work done first, the easy stuff after. <laughs> I thought I was lonely. <laughs> they see me and they've come over. You know what horses are like? They get a bit nosy. They've just come over. I'm not going to go over to them. They're not my horses. I've never owned a horse in my life. Let them satisfy their curiosity. They'll probably disappear. I'll get back in that after I've had my little stop and my munch. And we'll move on up. All right? Look at them.
There's loads of those dark blue butterflies around here. I don't know what ones they are, what they're called. But this, this stretch here, is where I saw my first and only kingfisher. Was it last year? I think it was last year. Shot across that streak of blue. I just see it go straight across. It was here. It went across from this field, because I went further up when it was when I was coming back. And it shot straight across over there. But I've not seen one today, unfortunately. But there's a lot to see here. A lot. A lot of... Uh, Waterfowl, insects, there's all sorts here. Apparently there's even otters, I don't know. I've never seen one. But apart from the sound of the jets taking off from Lake Eneef every now and then, and the occasional train, when you capture these moments, it's just peaceful. Nice. It's really nice, isn't it? <laughs> oh. oh, this is the closest I get to contentment. That's all I'm seeking in life. Happiness and contentment. That is it. They're my only two goals. had those two women come up they're having a little paddle going upstream she reckons the current strong today you should have been here saturday love oh that was hard work well, they seem to be having a nice day on the river so leave them to it let them get up a bit more then i'm gonna head up and then we'll come back down well, i spent longer there than i thought i did see a couple of F-35s from RF Lake and Lake and Eve come out um, over the trees and I thought I'd recorded it and I had it on photo. What a wally. So anyway, I'm not here on a plane spotting mission, am I? Whoa, drifting now. That's a nice little spot that is. don't appear to be going in a straight line. Those women that went past did say the current was strong as they went, so maybe they meant this bit here. My arm's killing me. I've never been this far up before. Those women, I stopped there. I think they was having a little picnic or something. I passed them um, a bit further back. But they seem to have hit the water again. Maybe they're racing me, but if they are, they're losing. Yeah, so I've just uh, stopped on all this. What's that mucky stuff that gets caught in the reeds? I've stopped on there because it acts like an anchor. And uh, I have never been this far upstream before. And... It looks really nice, so I'm gonna persevere. And then when I'm done, I'll just turn around and meander back down. Catch you in a bit. If you're ever on the river and your arm's getting knackered like my one is, and you need a little break, find some of this. Nature's anchor. It's absolutely beautiful here. This is the Little Loose River in Sant and Downham, Fetford Forest. And it is a nice little river. Another fallen tree. They really should be doing something about these, you know. I mean, what do we pay for our licenses for? I just saw the second kingfisher. Get in! 
yeah, it was um, just a flash of blue straight in front of me. And I was like, oh, yeah, one day I will catch it on film. Why do we say film? There is no film. It's all digital. <laughs> I'm showing my age, you know. I'll catch it on camera. Yeah, that was proper dicey. Trying to get through there. I can see a couple more swans. I think this is going to be as far as I'm going today. I'm going to have to turn around and meander back. And this is the best bit where you just float back down. He was coming for me. <laughs> Daddy was coming for me. Yeah, I turned around. Um, they got signets and I heard a hiss or two. And I was just doing, rearranging my phone. And when I looked up, I think it was a Daddy Swan. They got the brighter bill, haven't they? He'd sort of like come in low on the water and he was sort of near me, sort of guarding the area. Uh, I thought nothing of it, and I just started slowly drifting back, and uh, all of a sudden he's coming at me. He's, he, he's he's not like flapping his wings and hissing, but you can see he's picking up a pace, and I just turned it around and got out of there. Yeah, no, no I'm not messing with the swans. Leave them be. they got their babies. <laughs> Lovely day. That's the bend by the Scout Activity Centre. And on the map, it doesn't look that far, but paddling, it is. So, yeah, I've actually had a really enjoyable day today. to lay right back to go under that but it was better than going through there so oh I've got a, have a little paddle So ends another fine day. I mean, the weather's not been fine. It's been all right today, but it's not been perfect. Strange for July, it really is. But do you know what? I've not been at work. I've still got a week off. So, but yeah, I've had a lovely little paddle, scouted out what I think is two possible uh, camp locations. So, I will we'll check those out. Give them uh, further investigation in the near future but yeah it's just been a really really nice day on the river really enjoyed this
I'm on a more familiar stretch of the river now, heading back down to St. Helens. So I right, am going to wrap this up here. It's um, It's been nice. It really has. I've enjoyed it. I should get out here more often. I've got no excuse for not doing it. I've just got to get myself out, force myself out. Once I'm out, I'm loving it. It's like wild camping. Once I'm out, I really enjoy it. So stop making excuses and just get out there. But yeah, if you've uh, enjoyed this, you're welcome. Thank you very much for tagging along with me. There was no drunkenness. There was no silly stories. No me being a complete wally. I can be normal from time to time. Navigate this tree. So yeah, I'm gonna hold on. Oh, drill sis. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'll leave you some shots of the river. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll leave you some shots of the river, some footage, and uh, hopefully I'll be out again soon. I'm hoping to get a wild camp this week. Do a bit more on the shelter. So got the rest of the week off so I might as well I might come back down here as well so anyway look that is it no more talking I am done thank you very much as ever it's been a pleasure <laughs> God, fly my eye I think oh is that my mouth oh god no oh. <sighs> professional doesn't lose his cool <laughs> yeah um, I will see you next time so until then take care Thank you for joining me. Dug out. Tightly up your gaff, mate. Subscribe to my granddad's channel, it's rubbish.